Welcome back to Egyptian Delicacy. Um, today we're making together okra and um, baked with some beef. So these are all the ingredients that we're using today. We're not we're not gonna go overboard today. It's super easy. Um, this is just frozen okra that I bought from the from the grocery store, and this is some uh, tomato that I just put in a blender. This is some beef that I cubed earlier some onion and this is uh, tomato sauce we're gonna use some uh, also this is like chicken bouillon tomato paste jalapeno pepper some garlic so this is what we're gonna use um, for our okra uh, and if, if as you can see here all these ingredients right here I'm just gonna use it to um, to boil the beef um, with so I'm gonna move to the stove to show you guys how to start this dish I'm gonna start where to start with um, boiling the beef I I'm boiling some water already on the stove so I'm gonna go ahead and start dropping all the ingredients that I'm gonna use for the beef cubes I'm gonna drop this whole onion I'm not gonna chop it or anything just as a whole some dried bay leaf and this is oops this is some cardamom some cloves right here and i will also add some two cloves of garlic and this is just salt and pepper i'm just going to drop everything in here and now i will drop the meat the beef so um, let me get something else. I'm gonna use my hand. Here you go. Just, just the beef. I'm gonna drop it in here. Once we drop everything in the in the pot, we're just gonna let it do its thing on the stove. Let it boil till the meat is tender. And then we can start assembling the whole uh, dish together Here. I'm gonna let it come to a boil once it comes to a boil I'm just gonna drop the lid on on it and let it cook water came to a boil I will put the lid on and just turn it down a little bit and we'll see you guys in a little bit I will uh, start making cooking the the okra with you guys so I'm going to start with dropping a couple of spoons of, this is regular vegetable oil, just a couple of tablespoons. Let, it, let the oil heat a little bit. Now I will drop the onion. stir it for a second or two before we drop the garlic I'm gonna go ahead and drop the garlic Now this is our frozen okra. If you have fresh okra, it would be better, but this is easier for me. Just give it a stir. I'm gonna go ahead and drop some, um, some of the spices that we're gonna use. Just two cloves of cardamom and a couple of bay leaves as well. I'm gonna drop two, and this is just a little bit of old spice and salt and pepper just a little bit of salt now I will drop the tomato sauce I 
and I have some tomato paste as well. So this is fresh tomato sauce that we just did, made it made, made it earlier in the blender, and this is just a tomato sauce from the can. Gonna drop two jalapeno pepper in here and one chicken bouillon, and we're just gonna mix everything. We just want to cook it like halfway because we're still gonna stick this in the oven along with the meat, so we don't want it to be fully cooked here. If you want it more, if you want it spicy, of course you can put some crushed uh, red pepper in here. I think I forgot some black pepper. Now give it a stir. Let it come to a boil. This is the mixture of the okra and. Uh, the jalapeno pepper and the onion and the garlic and the tomato paste that we put in here together earlier. I'll let it simmer for a little bit um, before I start mixing it with the meat and put it in the oven. So we're just going to leave it a little bit on the, on the stove, let it cook together. I'll see you guys in a little bit. So after the, after the okra has been cooked down a little bit, I'm just going to add the beef that I boiled earlier so it is the meat is halfway cooked so I'm just gonna drop the whole oops here and after everything's dropped in the in the pot with the okra I let it I let it just boil for a couple of minutes just for the flavors to blend well before I start putting it in the in the oven and I'm going to use some of the broth from the meat. Gonna, and let it boil. Let the whole mixture boil together. So you get the flavors from the meat and from the okra. And then we're going to put everything in the oven. I'm just going to drop everything here. gonna put it on high let it boil this is the okra and the meat after it's been boiling for a couple of minutes together I will just go I'm going to transfer everything from the pot to this tagine so it can go in the oven um, so I will carefully transfer everything here here you go that's one more all right and we're gonna the top on it right here and then I will stick it into the oven I just got the okra tagine out of the oven and this is what it looks like it's super hot and I'm gonna go ahead and serve it on this plate I will serve it with some rice this is traditional Egyptian rice as well so we're gonna put some okra on the side and meat there you go put more and then I like to top it off with some lemon or lime juice so you just squeeze it on Well, that's enough this is the okra and the meat the beef cubes that we cooked earlier and I just prepped some rice on the side you can definitely add some salad or tomato cucumber whatever greens that you may want to eat with this but here it is uh, please try it and let me know how how it turns out see you guys later bye